Okay guys, it is Wendy Hardnack at Hardnack Farms and I am very disappointed to let y'all know that I've got a uh, killer in my garden. <laughs> well, several of them. This isn't good. So I'm having to get on my hands and knees. I just weeded this area two, three days ago. Yeah, and it's already like, you know, this. Got the Bermuda coming up. Drives me insane, but I'm checking all the plants because look what I found. Found some earlier today and I thought maybe it was one in the bucket. I mean, it wiped out two of my plants. Completely wiped them out, like down to the stem. I'm <laughs> like, little hungry hippos. They wiped me out on two, three plants. Like, you gotta be kidding me. So now I'm looking for them. Bad thing is, is that I know I can come out here at night with a black light. But we have venomous snakes. And uh, I think I could sit in the daytime and pick them off so much better. Not that I'll get them all, but I mean, worst comes to worst, I can come like right at dusk. When it's just starting to get dark and maybe shine a black light. But, oh my goodness. The things you have to deal with in the country just to grow food. Ugh! I'm a little upset. No, I'm a lot upset. <laughs> so... Another thing I was really upset with is uh, my shipment today of my beneficial nematodes. Um, I ordered them from Arbico Organics. And they will... Who, what the heck is that a home for? <laughs> Snake or tarantula? I don't mind the tarantula. It's snakes I worry about. Especially with me walking back here. Kind of creepy. Tried to get in here and mow, but I need the little push mower. And then need the push mower back there. So, see, these are doing good. Oh, hello. I need to get the... Omar's Lebanese. Yeah, I need the um, bags for that before it opens up. Because once it opens up into the flower, you can't bag the bloom. Because it could, over, could have already been pollinated. So I found some of those big old tomato hornworms back here. And I had already sprayed the nematodes in this one. But I had to get another round of them because the ticks are so bad. So I ordered, oh this is Chirene Tarasenko. I've been wanting that one. I mean, I wanted to save the seeds for it. <clears throat> My throat's getting scratchy again, the allergies. <coughs> the darn cottonwoods. <coughs> I'm really allergic to them. I'm not sleeping at night. They're just tearing me to shreds. I need to get back here and pin these up. Well, not quite. But I found the, the hornworm on this. You can already see some of the damage. Oh, I was furious. This is my Yoder's German Yellow. I really want to save the seeds for this. I don't have any more seeds for it. So, yeah, here's the bucket it annihilated. So I pulled the tags and I'm hoping to find some more stuff for it, but I thought I'd come back here. See? They got a whole, now this is where I found little black ones. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Golden Sun Ray, Beauty Queen Yellow. I haven't seen that one at Baker's Creek in a long time. See, they wiped out these. It's like, seriously? Leave my stuff alone. So I come back here and sprinkled some marigold seeds. Not only will that help the pollinators, but it'll help deter some of that stuff and so what made me so mad today, oh my goodness, I was so mad. 
I saw the FedEx go to the neighbors, and I thought, hmm. So I texted her, and I asked her if she had got a package or was expecting one from FedEx, that I was expecting a package, and they have a hard time finding me sometimes. So I didn't hear from her, and I was working in the garden, so I waited, and he didn't come down my road, and I thought, well, hmm. So... Anyway, she texted me later and she said, oh, you can go check. Well, I drove down to the mailboxes after 3 o'clock. Guess what? Laying right in the sun on the ground was my package of my live insects, my beneficial nematodes. They're supposed to be kept refrigerated. So they have to file a claim with FedEx. And ship me some more. This is becoming a problem with FedEx. I'm not a big fan of FedEx. Um, I've ordered fruit trees and they threw them in the road up there by the mailbox. And I'm sorry, I don't pay for that stuff to be dropped off at the mailbox. I pay for it to be delivered to my door. That's where I want it. <laughs> oh, it just makes me mad. So here's a rose. These are rose de burns. And I want to save the seed for those. Gosh, you just have to weed like crazy. It's just nonstop. Ugh. And trim tomato plants. Oh, I just pulled a bloom. Darn it. Trying to get that weed out. Man. I started those from seed back in, uh, what, December? Well, that's going to pull the whole plant. I can't pull that out. So I'm pretty excited about that rose to burn, which I can't save the seeds for that because the bloom's already open. So this is my butterfly area. That's why the milkweed is real thick back here. All this is for butterflies. Everything is butterfly friendly and bee friendly. So anyway, my husband's feeling the the second raised bed so I can get out there and plant. I'm pretty excited. So I'm going to go get him and I'm going to come back here and bag that bloom real quick before it opens up. And I want to show you guys kind of how... Okay, so for, for you Arkansas woodcutter, <clears throat> Mark, what you do on tomato plants is you cut or trim these suckers off the bottom. You make the plant basically look like a tree. You clean all this up down here. You don't want all this little stuff down here on the bottom at all because it just uses a lot of the nutrients to feed it and it's kind of a waste. You will actually get more fruit if you clean all this up down here and it'll give it more fruit. And then you whoop, see that kind of looks like tomato pinworms, but the beneficial nematodes are shipping me more, so I can't do a video tomorrow on it. Frustrating. So, anyway, back to the tomatoes. Sorry, you trim it, make it look like a tree, and as soon as it's big enough, I'm gonna stake it up up here. Same thing with this, you just kind of want to make it look like a tree instead of a 